There is no question affordable housing is a more urgent issue than it has been in this city in many decades. No one can deny that this is a problem and time is of the essence to start solving it. And I sat with council member Mary Waters and this is an interesting thing uh, when you have council members who have been community activists and bring that perspective. And council member Waters says, when somebody's pushed out of their house, they don't know who to call. We need a major call center at the city of Detroit. And when somebody's homeless, everybody knows this is the hotline to call. But even if your rent's going up and you need a new place, there needs to be one place to go. We need to start that in the city. That was just council member Mary Waters' starting point. We got a lot of folks who can get their skills raised, make more money, and don't need our help, but they're gonna need a bridge, a transition. Could we have a self-sufficiency program for people whose rents are going up? Could we get them into one of the great programs Nicole Sherrard Freeman's running? Could we give them transition childcare or housing assistance as they learn it? The next day, I sat with Council member Letitia Johnson. And she says, you know, affordable housing is a big issue. She comes out of East English Village. She said the people who stayed have benefited enormously. We need to build home ownership in this city. We need to extend this wealth to a lot more. The next day, Mayor Mike Duggan sat down with council member Angela Calloway. And she says, we need help on affordable housing today. She says, I keep driving around seeing these vacant apartment buildings, like the one right behind us has been vacant for 10 years. She says, why isn't the fastest way to make housing available, take these vacant buildings ourselves as a city, start to renovate them, and move people in of low income? And so when I told Council Member Waters that we have all these different plans, she said, what if we all came together and did one plan? I've never had a case where three different council members with three very strong ideas and approaches said, affordable housing is more than a buzzword. It is the very livelihood for thousands of we Detroiters. The primary duty of Detroit city government is to protect the health, safety, and welfare of all Detroit citizens, not just those with big bank accounts. Housing is a human right. Ending chronic housing insecurity has been a cornerstone of my legislative platform. We had one condition. Everything that we put in this plan, we're going to do. The solution, the way to truly provide deeply affordable housing in the city of Detroit is by collaboration, unwavering commitment, and a tireless team. It's so important that we work together on behalf of the people in this city. But the passion is there, the love for our community, that partnership means so much to all of us. Great feeling, it's, it's just been amazing, uh, particularly the collaboration because all of these parts are needed working together, the city council, the mayor, the uh, land bank, the Detroit Housing Commission, the CDOs. This has been my whole life and my whole career is to, to do affordable, deeply affordable housing. I think it's my mission. I think it's my ministry. I think it's my, I've never been interested in doing commercial or luxury or condo. I think that there's something more important to be able to deliver safe, secure, decent housing Again, jumpstart, build the momentum and keep the momentum, like what's the next one, what's the next one, what's the next one, in true developer fashion. And if you can do that family by family, neighborhood by neighborhood, I don't think there's a better feeling than that. I, I think it's the Lord's work. You know, I say thank you, and I say keep listening to what people in Detroit are telling you. Do change a neighborhood that way. That's the linchpin. That's the starting point, and so that's exciting. Uh, Detroiters can know that they can go out, they can do these developments, they can get them done, and they can come to the Detroit Housing Commission, um, the land bank, or any place into the city for assistance, knowing that we already have the tenants for them, we're already lining up the finances for them, we want Detroiters out there doing this for themselves. People are used to really cumbersome processes. When they know that they can just plug into a one-stop shop and, and all they have to do is execute and apply their skills, then things happen so much faster. To the tune of $203 million, and that is just the beginning. But the work begins with a seven-point plan, a central Detroit housing services division, rehabbing apartment buildings, a Detroit land bank affordable home program, providing more housing and a quicker approval process, 
down payment and ownership assistance programs, plus bringing more than 1,000 rental units into compliance. And last but not least, self-sufficiency support for those folks who are facing rising rents. This program is a great step towards executing our obligation and responsibility to improve the material well-being for our residents. Every single program we're proposing, we believe we can implement and it will make a difference in the lives of residents of the city. It's really pretty special and goes a long way towards sustainability and what it means to make this all happen and what it takes to make it happen.